I mean, who knows, right? Can either team depend on it? Because it's just been so inconsistent. This, this matchup at G2 Big, not just here, but in the past, has always been weirdly one-sided and in, you know, inconsistently the winner. It's just always been like dominant wins, 16-5, 16-6s. And the first two maps of this series hold true to that as well. Will we have another dominant victor? And who will the victor be are the big questions that we have to wait and see. Big. I like this play. It's something Liquid do a lot. Put this in that Xbox smoke. He's going to bail, though. He won't hang around forever as G2 come in from lower tunnels. What's a utility for G2? Tizian spotting the first. Can't afford to go down here as he's one of the two men with Util and the kit as well. Searson flashed up on Catwalk. Big flashes have been inconsistent at best as Taps are flying Searson there and he will go down. There have been some great flashes. There have also been some huge issues with the Util. Right now, G2 will take that advantage as they often do and sit back, relax, wait for Big to make any mistakes before they commit to this cat take. Tabson inside this site. He's going to have his work cut out for him. Tizian is a car and can offer supportive flashbangs to help Tabson out. However, two players have already dropped into CT and Tabson wasn't able to deal with Kenny, but Tizian, what? How has he managed that? He just picks up three. We don't catch any of them, but th there were players in CT. There were players on Cat. Tizian should have been dead to right. He doesn't even have armor. He gets four in the pistol. And big, they turn that around. That was three on five for the big clan. Let's what? Look, at this, look at this, right? One, oh. two, oh, and a third. Man, that is disgusting. Tizian, he certainly seems to believe in the big squad as he secured them this pistol round to get Dust 2 off to a good start. Yeah, they have their backs turned to Carl, which, you know, typically, even if you don't have the util to clear Carl like a molly from long, you're going to spam it with your AKs. But because it's the pistol, G2 only have blocks. They can't spam the car. It won't do anything. So, yeah, that's a great position to hide behind. You have good cover. You're not going to get mollied out, and you certainly can't get spammed. So the spot for the pistol play as Tizian comes in clutch. The fast play for G2 is pretty standard. No use, no investment at all. And they're going to run up Cat to try and get this bomb planted. Good luck, though. Made mincemeat by Big. You'll often see CT teams just trying to give these fights up and tuck back on long, go for scout shots at the car before conceding the bomb plant. But I like the big, you know, read into the economy there. They know that G2 haven't forced with, you know, Deagle armor. They don't have to respect them. And as a result, they take every fight and deny the bomb plant. This by coming through regardless, but lacking the AWP as a result of that money. A big, I mean, they're running bonus as well, so it's not pretty for them either. If they win this round, they get huge upgrades from G2's economy. Oh, yeah, Searson's trying his hand at this mid aggression with the scout. Searson's a scary scout player, like he really is. So, you know, G2, they still have to be careful, even though it is the Orp's baby brother down here in mid. G2 setting up over here towards Catwalk and Long. Amanek is down in the lower tunnels, but he's not sticking around. He's rotating up into middle. This is looking like it wants to culminate in another one of these A plays and taps and going aggressive. That nade is going to find some good damage early on in this round. G2, they're not exactly leaving Big guessing at this point, right? Like, Big, this you like to think for Tabs, and this has been a pretty easy one thus far. It's like, okay, they've, they've only gone for cat takes, and here in their first buy round, they're looking like they want to go for another cat take. Now, that smoke might change things up a little bit as Amanek hopped on down. But the problem is, is you don't have any tunnels control. And so for G2, this isn't a case where, you know, they can just bail out on a whim and, and head towards this B site. And now matters get made even worse with Tizian pushing long, dealing with Jax and getting away with an AK. G2 going to try and flash these players out through the catwalk. And Searson is the man responsible with dealing with this CT push. Oh. He's going to nail the shot on a Nexa. And G2, they bottlenecked the cat. They've had to stop. The kills just aren't, aren't presenting themselves. Amanek's got to do it all on this long wrap. He gets the first, spots Searson, but isn't able to land the killing blow. And wow. Searson's there to put him down at the very, very end. Big, they take that third round. They best the full buy of G2. And that was a bonus round for Big. There were SMGs in play. Yeah. But the, the best rifle, I think, was a Famous. Uh, the, the, the Scout nails two. The MP9 manages to get one as well. Like, that there is a round that's huge for Big to have picked up in the fashion yeah. that they do.
the two kills that make all the difference there are Tizkin getting aggressive, killing the man at long, which denies a double long setup for G2, which they wanted to have. Amanek comes in later as a result, far too late to have any impact other than a kill, which, well, has no impact. And also the scout shot, the headshot, the Nexa in spawn. If that's a body tag from Searson, Nexa gets away with a kill on the ramp, undoubtedly, and G2 can cause chaos in that site. But Searson, what a quick shot. And for it to connect to the head with the scout as well, that had to happen. That needed to happen there for big. So Searson does everything we need and more. He's got the AWP as well. He's got the reward of winning that round. Definitely going to keep our eyes on that as it sits on long currently. G2 taking more mid control. The bomb in tunnels this time. They can go for a mid to be with the util they have, but that's a good grenade. Dropping jacks early. G2, they've left tons. They've gone back towards middle. Seems like Hunter's going to pop flash them out through the doors, but you can see big. They get a kill and they fall back. They play standard setups. They don't go aggressive and give G2 a way back in. Tizzy is going to get smoked off in spawn, and Xantaris can just pivot from the window, assisting into middle. Tizian's going to get smoked off. And now this beast like getting pressured. Antares isn't able to stand his ground. And this player at Tunnels wow. gets tapped down by the tech on Amanek. Amanek more like, am I right? Hunter over here at short side looking for this frag on attack. Oh. And the tech nines are just doing damage. It's a three on three, but they're just barely. And what? there's still a great, like Amanek is two HP and he's just flinging around the map, taking these fights with an MP9. Big, they're gonna save. They back out of the round. That is devastating. That is a horrible way for this B site to fall apart. And G2, they go, guys, why were we even playing Catwalk when we could just walk into B with Tech Nines and own the site in this fashion? I mean, yes, yeah, Antares, he gets no kills from the window, but not all his fault, right? Amanek runs through the door, Molotov, with a tech and kills Antares immediately. Like, that's the first kill there for G2 in, in, in to B. And they just, like, you know, snowball in off the back of that frag. So pushing the molly is crazy here. But on an eco round, it provides so much. He sees, sees Antares, doesn't even consider it. And yeah, he doesn't even see Amanek, who follows up, by the way, and even escapes in tunnels. You, you, we saw him jump away with 2 HP there. If he doesn't escape, if he gets shot in that cross, big go for the rounds because they have a man advantage. But him just surviving and escaping the tunnels keeps G2 in control. And oh no, big only have one B. G2 are setting up with five in tunnels. If they commit here, this could be awful. They want to go for it. Keto nails the first shot with the AWP and Tarez follows up at this point with a man advantage. And Tarez doesn't have to keep taking these peaks if he doesn't want to. Hunter ah. gets burnt out by the molly. They hear this and Searson, as a result, finds him. And Tarez was flashed in and they're trying to deny this bomb plant. They do that. Kenny falls and big. They send a, a bit of a stern reminder like, yeah, okay, you might have cheesed the B round past the keeper, but we're not going to let it happen the second time around. We call them the B keepers for a reason. And they're going to yeah. stop G2 buzzing around that site anytime soon. Yeah, B International Gaming, I think is what their, their name stands for, right, Harry? The B is in the bomb site. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm confident. But uh, yeah, locking it down. At least Antares was there in time. He comes in with an early rotate because G2 went silent. And that is the danger on a map like Dust. If you go silent in the opening 20 seconds, it's almost obvious if, if Big play the way they do, right? They had long info. They had mid info. Well, where can they be? Tunnels or T-spawn. So yeah, Big pretty, pretty aware, pretty predictable. And G2 back to pistols should uh, surely be a fifth round for big although i say that g2's one round is one with similar weaponry up cat they go two flashes on kenny can pop them around the corner but not only do we have searson who's really warmed into this series well but tabson as well in the elevator ready to stop them Ooh. get out short that nade is gonna really do some damage and it just annihilates Ooh. kenny Searson oh. following up, headshots Jax through the box. Good luck getting that bomb plant, G2. Big, a fifth round on the board. They deal with the eco well. Now, Kenny's got money for an AWP. He's finally going to get to don the big green gun. And maybe that makes all the difference here for G2. Yeah, but this is what we've been waiting for. Everything available, AWP on Kenny and G2. They may be down, but they're not out. They want to make this one competitive. They want to pick up their map pick, which is you know crazy to see them picking it as uh, we know the history of this team with Dust. But 
the grand final. This is where all your performance should be coming through, but Big have had every answer. Having a cast of smoke the molly, he's lost almost all of his health. A grenade would kill him, but he again ducks, darts, weaves, dives, however you want. He gets out of there alive. Big with a double setup on long. This is a well-timed boost as Tizian gets up top, but it should give away the fact that Tapson is also here. He'll back up from the corner. Tizian can do so much here as G2 will not be expecting a player in this off angle. Oh, smoke fading. Tizian, only good for one. Kenny gets that trade. Taps him here. Gonna get flashed, but he turns away. Searson responding with a flash of his own. Has to step up now. It gets Kenny off the angle just for a moment, but no kill is found for Searson on this orb. G2, they're gonna mix things up a bit now. They leave long, they, they rotate away, and they look to hit this B bomb site. Amanek has been patiently holding onto these tunnels all round long. And so this kind of felt like it was uh, maybe not the game plan, but it was definitely the fallback, right? Like if things don't go your way at long, if you don't get all these kills and you encounter resistance, you can go B. But to get into B, you got to get past Keto, and that might be easier said than done. The Molotov's missed, and Keto puts up a second before Kenny gets that trade. Jax and Kenny S coming into this B bomb site. Zintares is on a very lengthy rotation all the way through T spawn. And so Searson, uh, really, he couldn't afford to lose that fight because now it's left Zintares in a 1v2. And while he is wrapping the tunnels a little bit faster than G2 might expect, this is something they're surely going to be ready for now that that bomb is planted and there's two crosshairs in the site able to hold down these angles. Zintares in with the peak. Oh, Damage oh, on to Jax. And now just Kenny left to B. Oh, he's got up and over. Missed shot from Kenny, but Zintares was blind. He's going to flash himself back in. Tries it again. Fades the shot. Oh, but wow. Kenny's going to nail it the third time around g2 they just about get that round on the board and it's kenny s doing his kenny best to deliver <laughs> with the awp you can see malik in the background of kenny's cam freaking out there as well oh did you see that opening shot from uh, kenny? yeah that's wild uh, uh, can we replay that as well maybe later on because that was mad he actually wall banged uh the boosted player i think it was tizian up on the boxes without seeing him so yeah great round for kenny you can see malik freaking out this must mean a lot to g2 right now they want this bo5 and they're going to try and take it fast and furious Santara is so flashed out he cannot see a thing not a bullet connecting jacks overwhelms key who is just as bright too, and guns gifted over to the Mac Tenors in B. G2 running the board in this round. Oh my, it just gets better and better. Or worse and worse, depends which uh, side of the boat you're on. Nexa will eventually be dropped, but Big are gonna get away with a couple of guns at the very least by the looks of things, trying to blow the AWP closer, or an AK rather. Whatever gun that was, it's not going to get much further with the, the HE. Amadek is here to clear it up. And while Big want nothing to do with it, they say you're welcome to it. Smoking off the doorway and trying to get away with their weaponry. Giving G2 three though, and at least back and forth to begin the game. Harry, that's the one thing we've not had in either of these two maps, right? G2, they dominate the first half of uh, Vertigo 10-5. Big, they fire back in the second. They lead 8-3 with eight rifle rounds in a row before G2 even win their first. Finally, we have one that's looking back and forth, at least at the start. There won't be an investment around these guns for big. Searson and Tabson have got to do it all. And G2, they love B, man. They love B. And you can't say you blame them. Keto's here to hold it with a USP. So good luck, pal. I'm really not favoring him here. Searson actually does get rid of Kenny through the door as he uh, tries to survive the cross. Now, Smokes has come in for G2. Tarez tries to go in through the window, and that's to his demise. Already the save calls come in. It's, crit it's critical that Searson gets away, and he doesn't. Amanek's having a stellar start to this uh, this map. I love the B rushes from G2. I love that call, right? We saw this the other day. I can't remember. I think it was the phase Navi game. Maybe you can remind me um, where we just saw, I remember it being phase, just running B plays in like four rounds in a row uh, to close the map when they just couldn't do anything else. They had no answers. They had no ideas. Everything was getting countered. And then they just like chain ran B plays until the game ended. And that CT side they were up against never stacked B because they kept assuming like, like G2 did in that round, by the way, they put just Keto there and they assume uh, they just B rushed. They're not going to do it again. That's too obvious. No, that's exactly what G2 are going to do again because it's so obvious. And 
now the mind games begin. When you do it two in a row, the big question for Big here is, do they do it three in a row? Surely not, right? That's where I think these last two games get really interesting when you're pivoting between the early long control, the immediate B executes. And it's just constantly a gamble on and where do your players go out of spawn? What do Big want to do? G2 not going to be committing to the rush this time. They do send players towards B, as so do Big. So a double B rotation with a mid support. It will leave Long lacking, but it's not like G2 are exploiting that position. Not yet, at least. One of the things that we spoke about a lot uh, earlier on, right, with... Uh in regards to this series is that these two teams have met each other already and when in that series G2 picked it up but the one map that Big were able to take away was Dust2 and so they're looking to continue riding on that high Sears that flashed off does delete Jax Tizian Ooh. here and the flash from Searson is good with that kill he's dropped the bomb out into the open Kenny's trying to maneuver through these smokes and he snatched the bomb away well sneaky Kenny S has retrieved the package and now sets G2 up in a three on five to at least give this round a go. If that bomb stayed at long, the round was pretty much over. Yeah. Amanek was looking for a B pick. He was trying to get one because if he did, he could open it up for that bomb to rotate in. But now G2, they don't get it. They have to go at it a different way through the middle area. Keto close and a man in the spawn rotating in. It's Tabson, not the man you want to be fighting here if you're G2, but you don't have a choice in the five on three. Nice uh, teamwork there, finding Keto in the middle. And now they know there's a max one B player left. So they swap positions. They leave Amanek there and Kenny and Hunter go wrapping through the tunnels. Zantaris hiding from that position. It's smoke right now g2 20 seconds they can't wait forever tizian's in t-spawn big know exactly what's going on but they don't know about the lurk amanex dropped a man in middle g2 gonna have to go the molotov is perfect and Taurus can't move but he won't burn out he won't die and they might think this position is clear it couldn't be further from the truth hunter with the check and that is so important it allows the bomb part but the flank is so fast kenny doesn't hear it and now it's a two on two Ooh, Tizian, second kill in the round, and it all falls onto Amanek. Searson nails the shot, and he deals with the Lurk player. Chance at a double AWP as well, and Big, Big are going to take that with them into this follow-up round. So Tizian delivering on this flank. He has been stepping up in spades in this game, man. Like, you know, we, we look at this big squad, and, and often the talking points, and I think rightfully so, is Searson's AWP, right? Tabson, obviously, is like the high, high fragging, high flying IGL. Uh, and then the other kind of guy that we speak to in regards to firepower is Zantares. Normally, Tizian is kind of often left out yeah. of that conversation. And right now, he's showing that he shouldn't be. He's been putting up some stellar plays, not just here on dust but even thinking back to nuke his presence in the hut into that a bomb site were instrumental in that big t half so he's having a great series he is stepping up when it matters most and that round there is no exception Tizian's like one of the most underrated players in the German scene, I think. Like, you know, he's such a good pistol player. He's such a good clutcher. He'll take the hard rolls. He'll play bomb sites on his own. And he's just so smart. And I think he's a really, really good player in this big team. So I, I was glad when Big did make changes. I get, get rid of next. I'm glad Tizian wasn't included in that move because I think he's really helped Big get on the map and get to where they are as a unit. 6-4 up right now. Big in control, but certainly not out of the woods as G2 once again looked to put the pressure on early three towards B with no one committing long take will be had Kenny's actually out and about with the smoke and Big can't stop him it's a run through the doors from G2 dangerous at best and Jax will trade for one that will at least keep the B players occupied for a good bit of time G2 peeling away from long and going back to a late round cat take this is good for G2 though, right? They've set such a precedent of these B plays that, that Big aren't going to afford an extra rotation around. And so as a result of deleting this man down in middle, you know that these rotations into the A site are going to be a long way away. So they try and hit this site with some pace. Amanek drops into CT to try and cut off these rotations. And this is something he's been very proficient at for G2. There's a minute left and they slow right down. However, you're not in a position where you can change your mind here if wow. you're G2. They try and get back out of cat and in doing so they throw themselves into the firing line next they're in a 1v3 and with keto holding down mid this should be impossible next sir, this is such a horrible round to try and navigate now there are two ct players for big 
Tizzy and holding CT while the rest of uh, Big spread themselves out across either bomb site. This gives Nexa a bit of room to maneuver into this A side of the map. He's creeping up through Catwalk and Big. They're completely discounting this right now. Now, even if he gets a bomb plant, it's still a far cry from picking up a round, right? Searson holding long. He's playing this position and he can set up for a retake with the rest of his team. Nexa, Ooh. deeper than Searson was ready for. And he taps him out of the round after sneaking underneath that crosshair. However, Tizian, fast up through short, represents a bit of a problem for Nexa, who gets blindsided. That's a, a really nice try from Nexa. I love it. The stall, the late play. Searson going back to check long because he's a solo A player. That was really, really nice. And you can see the game plan there. Big didn't fall for it at all. And that's crucial, right? Dropping a player into CT spawn. That's a G2 classic. Jax was dead early, but they often put him in that position. And then G2 try and put, uh, pull back from Catwalk, knowing Big have left B and hoping that that mid player, or that CT player can kill a mid player and they can go back into a B play. But Zantara's crucial kill from the back line in the middle. He doesn't fall for Kenny's rotation. And yeah, G2 clear up that CT player, as, or big clear up that CT player as well. So nice stuff. Nexa gives it a go. He at least gets money for G2, which actually is super important considering Kenny's now got the orb from that bomb plant. He wouldn't have had it otherwise. So armed and dangerous, but still the rounds in favor of big. Kenny's going to hit the cross shot to tag Tabson. But ever since that back-to-back -back B rush for G2, Big have run the same setup, which is double B and one up in middle. If G2 start working this one out, they can fast cap. They can start to try and throw a spanner in the works because right now they're just running their same default. And Big have just been in this exact same setup for, for five or so rounds now. This is one that does favor the cat take while you throw him into beast smokes because you know you can keep Tabson um, adopted in the middle area and therefore only Searson can uh, be able to stop that short cross. But, you know, he has been very good at that. He has been strong on the AWP and he looks to make that so again. Ooh, this decision to go aggressive. It's either going to make or break this round and he catches Hunter setting up utility. Now falling back and he's been given precious time to get back into this A site and just go through the motions on this orb. He'll remove another man. The flashes are good. They're denying Searson these repeats. Oh, but he's in with a third. The moment the flash is clear, Searson continues to light up this scoreboard. He knows that Kenny has trapped oh. the Gandalf and Searson is on for the ace. He doesn't get it. Amanek denies that ace, but Tizian comes in with the trade immediately after him. Big, they continue to look so good on this CT side. Everyone's stepping up in spades right now. And that was such like a high risk, high reward play from Searson and getting that kill, it just throws the entire take into disarray. Yeah. And, and the fact that he's given so much time to get back into ramp causes so many problems for G2, right? Like Searson, he can just keep taking these swings on the back of the flashes from long. And G2, they, they, they have no response to yeah. it. In back-to-back -back cat rounds, Big have, have been aware, firstly, that G2 are on cat, but have, as a result of that awareness, swapped Tabson and Searson's positions both times, putting Searson on the site with the AWP. And the fact that he's able to reposition before G2 commit, not only pick out Hunter from the from the group, but also just you know play a classic AWP on Dust2, just sit on that A site and swing it around the boxes and get kills. Like, that's something that means Big know when G2 are committing, and G2 have not really been faking anything out. They've not been getting Big in the wrong positions. They've not been uh, you know adjusting this this default setup and none of the standard things that we the, that we often see from G2 on this map are happening maybe that's a case of you know them knowing the big know their game plan and have done their homework but also just the rounds aren't being won by G2 I'd love to see more aggressive cat takes dropping jacks into CT faking the mid to be None of that has been happening here for G2, not at least in the early round, right? They they often scramble in three on threes, three on fours, and throw that utility. But big, when you're in an advantage like that, when at a four on three, you don't need to heavy rotate. You don't need to gamble. You can just stick two two and wait for the bomb plant. And that's really what big, big have been doing. Once again, this time Tabson is leaning even further to B. This is the first time we've seen that in a while. He's often been on the CT side of things. So this is a good round for G2 to hit Cat, but Searson, as said, always a nuisance, always considering it, rotates back to the car, and now he's watching. Woof. Ah. Well, Jax there, he made the call like, guys, I'm out in mid. They don't know. I'm about to do something sick. And G2, they actually started to peel off of Catwalk. And... They don't realize it, but if they do try and go for the B play here, which certainly looks like they, it's something they're considering, 
then they're walking into the most stacked site. They think they've done something smart, and really ah, they've played into the hands of Big. Oh. Uh, it's a little bit ugly for Tabson, and uh, still not that getting very pretty, as he uh, is still alive, just about. And G2 going to go back up into the catwalk, but to their death. Kenny on B5. Are you going to dream? And it's not going to happen, is it? Searson nails the shot. It's another round for Big, showing absolutely no signs of slowing down. Yeah, it looked like for a second as Antares didn't know that a play across mid, even though it was spotted. But luckily, yeah, Tavs on that boost spot, able to deal with it nice and easily. And this is just great. This is a fantastic CT side from Big. They're putting a stop to everything G2 do. They're not playing aggressive, they're not giving away picks. And G2 are really struggling to get into this game right now. The T sided start has not left them with a lot. They've had two opening kills in this entire map. We're 14 rounds deep. Let's see if they can find a third. Fast up cat. This is a good pace from G2. And a little boost from Amanek. I like that as well. Gets him around the corner even faster. And would have offset an orb if there was one. There's not. It's back on the cross. Searson looking to put a stop to this once again. Yeah, they dump all this utility. But the real goal is uh, not looking like this cat play. And I thought maybe we were going to see someone like Amanek oh. drop into CT. But that's not the decision that's made. He just reroutes back into middle. Tapson gets one through the smoke. Now Sataris has to make a stand. And here in the window, they'll put up one. But that's it for him. Keto removing both players that try and get in through the window. And this leaves Amanek 1v4. Looking for the fight onto Tabson, but he's not able to find it. Ten rounds for big. They reach double digits. And this grand final, oh, it's heating up now. Yeah, this Keto, is he so dominant from big. Kizo sat at the back of B doing nothing for about six rounds now, and he finally sees an opponent, right? He finally gets a chance to play in. And, you know, good patience, just waiting. Zantara's dead, Kizo trades. And G2, the fast drop down to a mid to B. I like that idea, but again, the miss smoke in middle. Uh, Tabson, he was drawn over to A from the wrong side of middle, uh, you know, because of G2's cat utility. But then there's a gap in the smoke, and he just shoots through it. He gets an advantage. And even though G2 dropped the smoke after that kill, it just feels like every round G2 is starting a man down or committing with, with you know, a four on five. And that makes everything so much harder as big win the trade game like they often do. Really well poised in this matchup. One round left of the half, a fast play up cat. A quick one indeed. There's no ult to stop it. He has to. He's up to 14 kills. He's having a great game. And he's got as much HP as well. The plant already put down for G2. I haven't seen a bomb plant in a century for these this team, but they will get it done. Searson's playing retake on long. Tapson's coming from the spawn. Amanex made noise, and Keto might have heard it here. He might be able to swing this with the Deagle and keep big up by a man once again for the retake. Oh, Kenny gets deleted back in the site. It's Nexa and Hunter. The two last hopes for G2. Zantara's up through the ramp, is flashed in by Searson. And now a 2v1. Hunter has had a pretty uncharacteristically quiet game here on Dust. This would be the clutch to win. They tap the bomb, bait the shot. Hunter oh. swings wide. And no does time. Get the kill. I don't think there's any time now. I think Hunter has secured a fifth round at the very, very least. Five to ten. Oh, well, wow. Whoa. Oh, no, after you, you, Harry. Hey there, after darling. You. I didn't hey. realize you were going to be the Whoa. one taking this. Look, man, I just wanted to say we promised everyone a big G2 grand final. And that's what we're getting right here. This is a series that's set to go the distance. Despite the one map advantage for G2, Big have fought tooth and nail to get this, this map going their way. And in a very dominant fashion at that, 10 to 5 right now in favor of Big, beginning their team side and a pistol around if they manage to get this locked in they could look to take us the full distance here yes indeed harry yes indeed big out long g2 have gambled i like the triple cap but unfortunately for them as big did the same setup of the pistol round it's not going to work there's no one here and next is going to need to turn around pretty soon if big do what they like to do and play contact that's going to be really annoying for for g2 uh, but luckily enough utils going over the top that ct smoke gives it all away really and a flash will follow Ooh, that smoke bounces hard i think it still did land and it's going to come in late the big are committing Nexa with some flashbangs, smoke's already down, but right now G2 are conceding the site. Kenny is the only one who wants to risk his life to fight for it, and it might be worthwhile with a flash from Big comes at a perfect time. Keto with one, Jack through the smoke, a pistol king indeed. He's got two, he can't find three. Keto's done exactly that and more, and Hunter and Amanek now in a two-on-two. -on -two. 
Yeah, but we see a smoke G2, see a doorway to turning this pistol around. Two players push through and they find a lot. Big, they're trying to sneak away. They're trying to get out of the A site, but I don't think G2 are going to let them leave. Oh, wow. Comes up the ramp and secures the round. Big. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they try and like run away to change their mind and go back towards B. It's, I like the idea, right? But it, but it just doesn't work in practice, especially not with Hunter already being so close. The fact that he gets that kill at ramp and then they still try and sneak away is a bit of a mystery to me. I like the idea of escaping, right? They're just trying to throw something new in there. They're trying to get around G2, and, and maybe if G2 spent too long selling up or had a long flank, for example, that could have worked. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not the end of the world. However, it could be a chance for G2 to get back into this game, Harry. They just continue to find pistols. That is, well, big one, their first pistol of the series in the opening half of this map, but that is another pistol. Add it to the trophy cabinet for G2. They got five out of six in the series. Now they got SMGs in the second round of the half. Bigger forced up as they often are, but with no bomb plant, it's come down to a Galil and Deagles with a scout and Searson, though pretty apt gun for him. Cheeky little yump boost around the corner for Big. Plus G2 set up pretty similar to that of Bigs as well. Running double B early as you often would be against low economy rounds. Leaving mid. But Hunter keeping an eye on it off of timing. And G2, or sorry, Big rather, they're going to set up outside along with two on the catwalk, flashing into this position and taking it late. Ooh. Jax's MP9. I uh, thought it was going to get away with a bit more there as it shreds the first man in. They weren't able to follow up. And so now for G2, they try and aggress onto Cat. But, wow. oh dearie me, Zantares and Tizian. They wrecked the two short players that were trying to get aggressive, and now Big sit in a four on two. Tizzy and even landing a bit of chance damage in through the smoke. And G2, do they even want to attempt this one? It feels like they have more to lose than to gain for going for it. And Tizian with his pesky deagle brings Amanek down very, very low. Isn't able to find the kill, but that really does solidify the save at this point yeah. for the G2 squad. They're this trying to get this M4 four. out, but the M4 doesn't survive. And Amanek's UMP is like barely even worth saving. The real object of desire there was holding onto that M4. And Tizian's not missing a beat. Yeah, this is the same issue that G2 had in the uh, in the last map, brother, which locked them out of winning nuke, locked them out of any chance to make that game competitive. They they get four rounds in the CT side, they win the pistol, all things are looking good. G2 have a great pistol round, and then they lose to Santaris with three kills, forced down on B in the second. Well, Santaris, he's done it again, Harry. Forced Deagle kills up on the A site, finding it with Tizian and, and locking G2 out of the round. And now... You know, now it's easy to say, well, this map might be done or, you know, big, big have a, a very good shot of closing it out before G2 get back into control. The money isn't there. The rounds are going to be really up against G2 before they hit their first rifle. And big have just done everything they need to make this as difficult as it gets for G2. And I don't know if they're up for the task, right, on their map pick on Dust2, on a map that has been, you know, has given and has mostly taken away from this French team. It's going to be a hard-fought battle. Mirage is the final map of this series. That's where Big are trying to get us there, and they're trying to get us there fast. Hunter's got his work cut out for him. The flashes just leave him completely blinded, and Keto hopping into the site makes quick work of him. Searson trying to hold down the flank with this scout. Oh, it's not the ideal weapon for the range, but he's making it work. This scout in Searson's hands is so gross. And next to while he does get that kill, it's ultimately meaningless for the G2 side. He's trying to retreat and big, they're even hunting him. Like he, he's got nothing to offer. <laughs> you know, like he's literally just trying to stay alive with the Deagle and Zantares <laughs> takes the position at car and just waits for the kill to present itself. I love Hugo. I don't know about you, right? But I have a lot you of fond me. memories oh. of like the German teams with Deagles. And I love that that is staying true to form, man. These, yeah. these Deags have been a turning point time and time again for Big. And now they sit with a pretty significant lead under their belt. There's still no money for G2. And so a 13th round should be a guarantee at this point. Yeah, you have strong Deagles on a German team that you add Santaris into. Well, Harry, that's barely fair on the rest of us. How are we supposed to compete? How are G2 supposed to compete? Well, they're not. Big are not letting them. And Big have 
Oh, they've rumbled G2 in this round. G2 pushed mid, but one lurker in the form of Santaris throws a Molly and B, and that noise alone, be it the only utility noise in the map, well, that draws G2 in. They send four players lower, and they realize the error of their ways. Now, if anything, them being delayed on this flank is good, as it means no one is going to see it from big. They're going to miss the timings. Uh, Santaris is late, and so G2 are even later. That's good to be in the back line, but big are about to realize when they get the A site for free, they're going to go, wait, where are G2? They've got to be behind us, and that's exactly where they are. Nice shot from Searson. One more on the catwalk, but the triple flank is being held. Oh. Get him out of here, Tizian. Tizian. Yeah, he's padding these stats. He loves it. He's trying to uh, bomb the HLTV rated up, and he's giving it his damnedest. We finished the round off, big 13 to 6. And now, buy round for G2. And what could be one of their only buy rounds here in the second half of play if it doesn't go their way. The, the pressure is really on now more than ever. Well, this is it. Do or die for G2, essentially. Right, th uh, Mirage, round the corner if this one doesn't get picked up by G2. Big looking to take us the full distance in this BO5. And I, honestly, against all odds as well, Harry, right? Like, oh, I love this from Searson. Pushing through. What a mad lad. Brokey did the same for FaZe the other day. Just out of nowhere. No flash. Nothing to give away the fact that you're doing it. And Searson gets away with the kill. He almost finds a second on the jump as well. Searson's holding for the long aggression. It's, the little, it's not going to be the gun for the job. He's done damage. If he can just get a kill here before he dies, that could be huge. But a bit uh, blah, 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 blah. Brilliant grenade from Nexa <laughs> will respond, Harry. Yes, indeed. Bit of a tongue twister. And Tapson's not in the business of twisting tons. He's in the business of locking down the A-bomb site. Now, this leaves Hunter and Jax in this two-on-four that they're likely not even going to attempt. Like, Jax is still at long, but he's not in a position where he can do anything. And so he's going to try and fall out of the round. Hunter is holding onto this M4 in mid, but big. They, they've been very proactive in trying to take these guns away, right? They're not giving G2 these situations where oh, no. they're able to keep the pressure on and they're able to keep reinvesting on the back of saving weapons because big just don't give you that privilege. They hunt them down. And in this round, once again, a man who's been synonymous with hunting these uh, these saving players down is Zintares. This, this guy, he deserves the... Uh, the in-game name of Hunter, because that's exactly what he's been doing. Oh, Pearson dies with the bomb, <laughs> so you love to see it. He didn't he want to give the orb, the orb over. Yeah. Screw it. Big have money. They have leads. They don't care. They can buy it up again, Harry. And they're in full control of this game right now. So honestly, not no, not really a worry. As funny as that is, Kenny. Wow, that is perspective. He doesn't even get a chance. He doesn't get a play into the round. Probably wasn't expecting such a quick peek as mid was left open, and Big have looked like legends on this map destructive at best and and also harry i'd like to mention before this map likely ends this is kept up as it often does when big and g2 face each other in that the maps are always dominant the only time these guys have been competitive are on inferno games both times where like the losing team gets 12 rounds with the exception of that every matchup for these guys has been 16 5 16 6 16 7 no higher than that so that's kind of weird. It's not. It's not consistent. You don't see that in any other kind of matchups. But here we go. It's providing a hell of a game. It's providing highs and lows. And I think one thing that holds true as well is if Big close this game out in a dominant fashion, they're going to have the momentum from back-to-back -back dominant wins going into Mirage, the third, sorry, the fifth, and the final map of the series. If Big have momentum in their shoulders as well, that's going to be a big problem for G2. Tizian and Searson have two more kills than all of G2 combined. Like, it, it's wild. And Tizian's going to keep adding to that little stat here. We just don't have anyone on G2 in that same position, like having a having an incredible game right now. It feels like big, they're, they're so hungry for this. And that's the thing, right? Like you go into this grand final, you're already a map down. You lose Vertigo in a very dominant fashion. And it's like at that point, 
big it's very it's a very horrible position to be in you know you're one map lost away from having the grand final just just stripped away from you and never really having a chance but then they take that first map of nuke and they do it dominantly and so coming into dust i think it was very very important that big were able to keep it in this as you've said like these very dominant affairs and that's what they're looking to do here and suddenly you know you've gone from being zero and two down in a grand final one map away from having it just taken off of you to to two to two and it all culminating on that final map and so suddenly bigger believing and, and in g2 they're in their own heads you know they're thinking we had to win one map to take this grand final once we got off to a good start yeah. and well now that that pressure that was all kind of leaning against big and working in g2's favor has turned against them in a very big way this round is a real write-off there's not much that can be done hunter in the 1v4 might be able to deny a bomb plant. He's waiting in this smoke. Now, he does have, like, the element of surprise, but there's just so many players here in the site. What? And he tries to take down Searson, but tapson has got his back. It's map point for big. 15 rounds to their name, and just one away from locking in Mirage, our final map in this grand final series. I'm so glad it's gone the distance, Harry. I'm so glad we get all the maps, because I'm sick and tired of the 2 obo 5s right? We had them before. We had them in NA, and they're, they're always a bit too... Bit too clean for us, but too quick. We want the long run, and boy, have big given us that. They want to make dust to a quick affair, though, and are only a round away from doing so. Set up outside of B. The bomb is long, though. We, we talked about opening kills on Vertigo for Big being absolutely atrocious. G2 have three successful opening duels in this map. Jax, who came in after the uh, after Vertigo 5-1 and one in opening duels, has found himself two and seven right now so quite the comparison quite the change and big oh dear they want it all they want the map they've run into b off of contact they've gotten two kills with only a trade and the bomb is joining them late and when tizzy and spotting the rotations from t-spawn he's seen a player crossing flashes go in and g2 try and beat big to the punchline by just peeking ahead of this one but zintares is not in the mood for having this game go on any longer than it needs to he deals with both the players that were flashed in and at this point big know that jackson's in mid because who else would have thrown the flashbang and so as he tries to get in he burns in the molotov he's brought down low the bomb is dropped at the door zintares has been able to retrieve it jacks this is a very very, very rough spot. He gets set up in the window. Tizian is watching it from the back of the site and he's going to 